What's going on everyone in this video we'll be going over the SAT March math trick slash section so that you guys can get 800 perfect scoring on your math SAT for this March because I know that's the first SAT of the SAT season and you guys want to get that perfect score right away so you never have to worry about the SAT and definitely not the SAT math part ever again. Now when it comes to SAT math and completing the entire section fast there's really something you have to focus on and that is time, right? To be able to do all the problems really fast, you have to understand all the tips, tricks, and patterns that are actually on the SAT math section. And whether you're taking digital SAT or regular standard SAT, the same math tricks apply. I know on digital SAT you have the calculator, but that's really not that important right now. So when it comes to saving time and turning a two minute problem into literally a five second problem, which is actually gonna happen, I'll show you guys how, then that's really how you are able to do the math problems much faster and end up with like 10 minutes left on the SD math section you just chill and like go to sleep or draw spongebob so jumping into the first trick negative b over a and c divided by a so what does this mean well you're given a quadratic right you have ax squared plus bx plus c that is a regular quadratic form and the question might ask you what is the sum of the solutions and you might be like hmm that's pretty easy right all i have to do is find solution one and solution two and then add them together yeah you're right but the thing is there's two ways to do that you can either factor the expression and find solutions that way or you can use a quadratic formula in the case that the expression is non-factorable and through that way you can you know do a little more math you can mess up at any single point too and if you mess up you might have to spend another whole minute doing the quadratic formula but you find the two solutions you add them together those are the two main routes students use but there's a faster route in fact there's a route that will allow you to turn that entire process into a five second process. And here's what you have to do. To find the sum of the solutions, all you have to do is negative B divided by A. That's it. Literally, that's it. And negative B over A basically gives you the sum of the solutions of a quadratic. So next time you're asked to find that, that's all you do. Now you might be like, well, what's C over A? Well, C over A gives you the product of the solutions of a quadratic. So if the question asks you what is the product of the solutions of a quadratic, all you do is do C divided by A. And boom you got the product you're done the whole one minute problem is now five seconds and it's less math involved which means there's less spots for you to mess up now the second tip is to use y equals now by the way guys i know i'm talking about a lot of these tricks and tips and this video only covered three to four and you guys might be like there's no way that's all there is there has to be more sd math tricks tips and patterns how can i learn it all check out my sd math course it's a discount going on right now it has everything you need to know to get an 800 perfect score now y equals guys so in your calculator, if you're using a TI-84, you have an option to do use a Y equals function. The Y equals function allows you to put an equation into Y1 and Y2, and you can find the solution between the two equations by just finding the intersect once you graph the equation. So this saves a lot of time, especially when you're given calculator problems that may have a lot of decimals involved. You might be like, oh my God, I have to you know, make a quadratic and make a line through and find solutions. All these decimals is a lot of work. Well, to save yourself from the entire headache of doing it by hand, which that would be crazy if you did, all you have to do is plug one equation to y equals one and y1 and plug the second one to y2, find the intersection, and boom, you got your solution. Now, another thing, sometimes you might be given just one equation and it might the question might ask you, hey, find the zeros. All you have to do is plug the equation to y1 and then plug in zero into y2, and then all you have to do is find the intersection. By finding the intersection of you know y2 equals zero and like the equation of y1, you're essentially finding the zeros because the y2 is equal to zero. So it's a neat little hack that I like to do a lot and it saves a lot of time and it saves a lot of work. Now my last trick is the elimination three trick. This is more SAT psychology trick, but basically with the elimination three trick, sometimes you're given a lot of, you know, uh, a math to do for a certain problem. And you might be like, hmm, I have to find what x equals, right? Let's say x equals seven, but it takes you 10 steps to get to that last line of math that says x equals seven, which is your final answer. The elimination three trick, will allow you to find the answer before you even get to the 10th step. Usually what can happen is, let's say you do steps two to three or steps one to three, and you look at the answer choices, and let's say steps one to three lets you know that X has to be positive and choices A and B are both negative. You can eliminate choices A and B. And now you're left with just C and D. So now what you have to do is just keep going to steps four, five, six. And let's say by step six, you find out that X has to be above 10. Choice C is nine, choice D is like 18. Since X has to be above 10, you learn that by step six, you can eliminate C and boom, three choices are now eliminated. So you can pick D and move on. That is elimination three trick. You do not have to do all 10 steps to get to your final answer choice, right? You never had to find what, you never had to find what X actually equals. You just had to find what X could not equal. Eliminate those choices and boom, you're done. Here are some pretty neat, quick tips, tricks, and patterns that I want you guys to constantly study because it will make all the difference 
when you're actually taking the ST Mass section. If you want to learn all the tips and tricks and patterns, be sure to check out my course. Question any comment below or leave a question in your comments below. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Peace.